With the New York Toy Fair finally complete, in this episode of Nerf News, we're going to take a look at the best of the best remaining information that we received from this convention. In yesterday's Nerf News video, we covered a prototype Nerf product, Nerf Fortnite guns, 2019 Nerf guns, and also some brand new leaked blasters. So if you want to check that out, the card is in the top right corner. In this video, we'll be going over the 2019 flagship Nerf blasters, Nerf Overwatch guns, as well as some innovative blasters coming from other toy brands that are really bringing in cool things for very competitive prices. Without further ado, let's get the spread. Let's talk about a blaster that has people excited and disappointed about at the same time. As we mentioned in a prior Nerf news video, this is the Nerf Elite Titan in the flesh. This is a behemoth of a blaster. It is monstrous. It is probably one of the bulkiest or the biggest blaster to exist. Here we have a really awesome picture of Jared looking very happy wielding this thing. And something about this blaster that has people buzzing is of course this brand new never before seen 50 dart drum magazine. A blaster of this size how well does it shoot? Let's take a quick look. Yeah, it's, it's not that great. People are not very impressed with that rate of fire. It's very much akin to an Infinis or a Rapid Strike. It's decent, but for this day and age when technology is really advancing in Nerf's lineup, it's kind of subpar, especially against something like a Prometheus or a Perseus. This pales in comparison. And I think people might feel it's a slap in the face considering this thing costs $100. But yeah, I, I would say that I'm not quite impressed as well. This blaster doesn't serve much more of a threat compared to other full auto or semi auto blasters out there on the market already. However, I still find the idea of a Nerf Gatling gun enthralling and it has all the gizmos and gadgets to give that authentic experience. When holding down the acceleration trigger, it revs up the motors and it also spins this barrel, which gives this simulation of multiple barrels or like a turret spinning around and firing darts. Once again, this blaster will retail for $100 USD coming out this fall, and I could totally see people buying this blaster for that 50 dart drum mag. From people's description at Toy Fair, the feeding mechanism of this thing works perfectly fine, and that's really great to hear. Fortnite is indirectly helping out Xshot now. This is a collaboration I never thought I would see. Xshot has teamed up with Ninja, the Twitch streamer, to repaint some of Xshot's blasters. This right here is the Turbo Fire, which is the latest blaster to be released within the XL series, and now it's got a blue, yellow, and gray paint scheme to it. The small micro blaster has also been repainted as well. This is what the Turbo Fire looks like IRL. And I would say the paint job is decent, but honestly, I'm a huge fan of Xshot XL series paint job by itself so I don't really need a repaint but it's interesting to see this collaboration. Three new Overwatch micro shots blasters will be coming to store shelves this year now featuring Roadhog, Lucio, and May. Let's take a closer look at them from these photos. So here's concept art of Lucio's blaster, Roadhog's blaster, and May's blaster. And here's a closer look at the box art for Roadhog's blaster and Maze Blaster. These blasters look faithful to the ones that they have in the Overwatch game. They very much resemble what they carry and their colors, and I especially love that Lucio one. I think that color scheme and this front barrel looks pretty darn cool. Here's a blaster I never would have expected. It was cool enough to get the Deadpool Kronos last year, but now we're seeing another Deadpool crossover with the exact same blaster. Here's another repaint based on X-Force. So we got the X-Force logo here as well as its colors, and Deadpool still looks sexy as hell, and he's totally infatuated with the foam chimichanga that is included in the package. And as we can see, Drac is totally enjoying it. It does not look appetizing in any way, shape, or form, but I gotta say that is one cool gag thing to include with this blaster. But unfortunately, I could see this thing easily bumping up the price of this blaster by an extra 10 bucks, but it's still funny and entertaining to see something like this come out. Foam Dart Nation has a pretty cool firing test of the brand new D-Dart Blaster, and I didn't really hear much about this thing until the Toy Fair, but it's a very interesting concept. It's a fully motorized blaster, but really bare bones. It doesn't look like a traditional gun in any sense. You have this ring right here, and I believe he said it holds 28 darts, and the handle, which is in front of the ring, is held such that your hand is actually like inserted into the blaster. It has a very sci-fi feel to it. Right up here are the motors. Let's just quickly see how it works. You feel like something out of like Star Wars. 
This blaster has an on and off switch at the front. It also has an advertised range of 22 meters, AKA 72 feet. And it also has a single shot or full auto mode, but this is purely dependent on how long you hold the trigger since there's only the one trigger. And to power this blaster only requires four AAA batteries. That's a very minimalist amount of energy used to power something that apparently gets close to elite ranges. In this video, battery power seemed low, so it could have a faster rate of fire and probably hit harder than it appears in this video. Even if this blaster isn't perfect, it's a good stepping stone for something even better, something more refined. It has a good ammo capacity. It's a little oddly shaped, but still kind of compact in that sense. I haven't found a price tag for this blaster yet, but hopefully when it comes out, it will have a lower price point compared to a lot of nerf blasters out there. According to information on blasterhub.com, it is apparently coming out on April 15th, 2019. The Nerf Rival Percy's, oh my gosh, it looked really good on paper and it looks even better in person. And I would say Drac is equally as excited as me as he also said this is his most hype blaster at this convention. But this blaster does come with a rechargeable battery which fits in this nice housing in this uh, handguard-esque portion of the blaster. It has a 50 round hopper as we can see. And the really interesting thing about this hopper is that this whole clear panel flips up and you just drop balls inside. So there's no need to push the balls inwards like an internal mag system. And unlike the Nemesis, this whole thing is open and clear for you to drop balls and making it much easier to load. And if we take a quick look at performance, this thing is a monster. It is crazy, man. Like eight rounds per second. This pretty much has Prometheus internals and you could easily go through this entire capacity in just a matter of seconds. It it's nuts, man. There's this little notch on the side of the blaster. If you pull it back, you can actually pop out this entire hopper, which allows you to clear any jams or anything. Or if possible, if you have other hoppers, you can lock and load, swap and drop other ones in there. So this is a very high performance competitive rival blaster. It's gonna retail for $100, but I feel like it's well worth it with that rechargeable battery, that rate of fire, and that sweet as hell hopper. Super excited for this blaster. I, I can't wait to get my hands on it. A couple days ago, I received some exclusive insider info about the new X-Shot Chaos series and X-Shot Laser 360 series. Only me and Drac received this exclusive information. So if you want to learn more about these brand new X-Shot blasters, you can check the video in the top right corner. My contact also sent me some extra information that I'll share with you guys. The X-Shot Chaos line is going to have its own refill packs of their version of the rival rounds. The 50 round pack is going to cost $7.99 and the 100 round refill pack that we see in foam from above's photo will retail for $14.99. So these are very competitive prices right up there with the Adventure Force rounds and if all goes well these should be pretty much identical in terms of performance with rival rounds at a much lower price. We got our first look at the Nerf Zombie Strike Revoltinator at Toy Fair but it didn't really reveal anything we didn't already know. This is essentially a Strife reshell. It's a semi-automatic blaster with some some interesting gimmicks to it. So when you hold down the acceleration trigger, it makes a bunch of zapping electric noises and you have a lot of sources of light. So this thing lights up, these four little LEDs light up like an electric blue shock and the Nerf logo also lights up. The top part of the blaster is translucent so you can actually see the flywheel internals inside and the stock seems slightly small and more geared towards younger audiences. I originally really like the idea and concept of this blaster. I think it's super fun, but for 50 dollars I'm gonna take a hard pass it's just not worth it for the blaster it is there's nothing revolutionary about it but it is like a fun option for kids out there but it's not something that you need to have in your arsenal since this year is nerf's 50th anniversary it was kind of cool to see Hasbro handing out these special 50th anniversary nerf darts to people who attended toy fair these are exclusive you cannot buy them anywhere else so possibly these could be worth something in the future busby is coming in hot in 2019 with a plethora of blasters there's some cool things here so i want to pick and choose the things that caught my eye. First of all, they're releasing a miniature blowgun, which you can actually pump up and build air pressure in here. So when you blow into it, it can shoot the darts pretty darn far. Busby also has a new 30 dart drum mag that's coming out and apparently it will also be compatible with Nerf blasters. So this might be a popular option for some nerfers out there. There's the Nerf agitator, which is a magazine fed 
pump action blaster, very similar to the Elite Alpha Trooper. There's the Metamorph or the Maxmorph, which is a very interesting, kooky looking blaster. It has this whole Transformers gimmick going on where you can start off as a compact pistol. Can I zoom in? Yes, I can, a pistol like that. And this right here is the top prime. And then you can actually fold out the barrel and then it'll become a shotgun prime. Essentially, you have a fold out stock and a fold out barrel, but whatever configuration you have, this thing will still be able to prime. And it's a very neat looking blaster. There's also the new flip clip system, which is quite innovative in itself. These 10 dart magazines can be used regularly. And they also have these notches at the end of them that allow them to clip together. You can easily clip them together or take them off and you can form like an old school flip clip. Busby is also releasing this new blaster called the Mutator. This is a concept we've never ever seen in a toy blaster before. It's able to accept more than one magazine at the same time. There's one at the front and one at the back. This is going to be a bolt action rifle blaster and it also has a removable stock. Thanks for watching everyone. If you want to see more of my Nerf videos, you can click the ones on the screen or click the card in the top right corner. If you're interested in buying Nerf blasters and gear, I have my affiliate links down below in the description. Once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.